I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Force because we're going to pre-select categories and force hands in those categories. This is a great exercise if you tend to play the same hands over and over and over again. Force yourself to play something new. If you have a set of tiles at home, I hope you give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls with the Charleston, forcing hands in these categories. We're going to start as dealer, so we'll have 14 tiles. Then we'll be non-dealer, 13 tiles. Back to dealer. 14 tiles, and I'll create mock Charlestons with no jokers. We have a joker, a one, seven in dots, one, two, six, seven, nine in cracks, all singles, two, three, seven in bams, threes and sevens paired up, and a red dragon. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on consecutive run or the year because we do have twos and we can leverage the threes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Maybe a year hand, we'd have to let the threes go. I think I would focus on consecutive run. Let's pass one of each suit. Since this is a pair, a pair let's break it up because we're going to need to discard these sevens. Whoa, pair of fives. I would keep it. We could do consecutive run if we can get four cracks. We could play mixed suit, second hand down. Here we have a north and sevens. I think I would let the one dot go. Let's pass these three. Five crack. Here's a two. Tiles we can pass. We have all the twos. No white dragons. I would still stick with consecutive run. We could maybe do two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I think I would build around those threes. Let the two go. Two, three, four, five. We could use this for the four. We'll see. Let's pass these three. We have another five and a six. Oh, and a seven. Here's a one again. I don't think the one's going to work though. Three, four, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven. I don't think these are going to be good though. Two, three, four, five. I think I would let these go. We've got a three. Here's a six. Three, four, five, six. Let's keep the six and we can let these go. 
really this red dragon is not going to be helpful. We have no other dragons. There is a hand with dragons in consecutive run, the concealed hand. We might be able to make this a little better by breaking away the two from the one and the cracks, mixing it up with a dragon. Four bam. Two, three, four, five, six, crack. Here's tiles to pass. I would keep that six. Three, four, five, six. No gaps now. Three, four, five, six. Third hand down under consecutive run. I would keep the two though, because if we get a six crack, we could play two, three, four, five, six crack. No matter how you slice this, it's going to have risk. Unless we commit to three, four, five, six. I think I'd rather keep my options open. Since consecutive run is more flexible than wins, let's pass the wins. We got a five and a three. That's going to be a really risky pass. Two, three, four, five, six. At this point, let's break this up. Pass defensively and focus on three, four, five, six for the optional cross. Oh, look what we got. <laughs> Very close. All right. We have five discards, but no gaps in our hand for consecutive run. Three, four, five, six, pung, pung, kong, kong. We need to build up that six, but we could pung here and kong here. Two, four, six, eight, and the year. We do have four, eight. We have no two, no six. Let's keep the four, eight and force evens. We'll just keep all the evens and the green dragon because there is a hand with dragons. Let's pass one of each suit. We got an eight. It's even. Let's break this up a little. Flower. We have tiles we can pass. There's a two. We need two, four, six, eight. Here we have tiles we can pass. That's going to be really risky. I think I would let the eight go. That's going to mean discarding a white dragon. Two, four, four, eight. That does not work. I think I would focus on the dragon hand. Four, eight dragon or flowers with two, four, six, eight, the very first hand. That way we can pass defensively. Definitely the eight can go. Let's pass the five. We've got a red dragon. That's not going to be helpful for two, four, six, eight, unless we play the, what is it, the second hand down? Two, four, six, eight, dragon. So let's keep the two, four, and the dragon.
there's a four. Two, four, six, eight, dragon. We did get a two, but we need dots and bams if we're going to leverage the strength of those tiles. We're in between the first hand and the second hand. I would not pass two white, nine. I would pass one blind. We got an eight dot. Two, four, six, eight with dragons this way. I think I would let the eight go and I would not pass the white dragon. I would pass two an optional cross. This is a very risky tile to pass, especially with dots. We have discards, but we have two, four, six, eight dragon. We do have a gap, but we have joker bait, or we could play Two, four, six, eight in one suit. Or we could even switch to like numbers with fours. I think I would keep the dragons, pass or discard those, and see if two, four, six builds up. Otherwise, fall back to like numbers. Two, four, six, eight. That was a rough Charleston. We gotta make a year hand work. We have the right number of tiles. Flower, west, green, two. Winds and dragons. We're gonna keep the two. <laughs> we need that for a year hand. So let's see if we can pass one of each suit and still have a decent pass remaining. How about one? Three six seven, three four, or three seven one. Oh, three that's terrible. Three four six. Three six or three seven one. Three seven. Three, three, seven, one. There's one of each suit, but this is risky. If we get all keepers, which I don't think we will, we'd have to give up one of these. Let's pass these three. We got a two, so we're keep, we'll keep it. Now, this is what I mean. Look at these tiles. This is gonna be risky. Let's do seven, four, three. I think a six would be better. Like numbers. Either way, we're gonna be left with like numbers. Five, six, seven, more risky tiles. Four, Seven, six, five, seven, north. We got a keeper. I would let the dragons go at this point. Keep the twos. Break these up. East. News with twos. Oh, 
Oh, we could put a, oh yeah, that's going to be really risky right here. We're looking for year tiles, news with the year. Let's keep the three. We'll pass these three. We got the two. There's some options there. There's a lot of three, four, five, six in these tiles. Let's pass these. No keepers. Let's pass these three. No keepers. But we could maybe play news with the year and just keep the twos that build up to a pair. And then, of course, we're going to need white dragons. So I would discard those first. Keep the four, five, six to see if we can maybe get jokers. Those are very efficient tiles. And if people play consecutive run, we might get jokers with those tiles because we're going to need help with our year hand. That was rough. It really is amazing how you can make just about anything work with American Mahjong, even starting with one or two tiles. With the right decision making during the Charleston, you can make it work. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.